Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo Tutorial. This week we're going for this frozen look here. The man in the frozen forest, the texture of sort of a frozen looking texture on his skin. I do have a couple of downloaded brushes that I'm going to use and I got those brushes from DeviantArt and I will credit and link those below in case you want to download those brushes and follow along. So here are the two photos that we're going to start with. We've got the forest and we've got the man that we're going to turn into this frozen look. So as usual let's get started. First of all we're going to come to our forest background photo and the first thing we're going to do is just give this photo a bit of a blurry background. So we're going to go filters, blur, Gaussian blur and we're just going to blur it 10 pixels and hit apply. Next thing we're going to do is come over to our man here and we are going to go command C back to our forest photo and command V. We're just going to position him in the right spot. So we're going to come over here to the move tool and just going to move him down into the center. And a good way to see exactly where you want to position him is just come over here to the opacity and just drop that down a little bit. And we'll just move him sort of in between those two trees there. Bring up the opacity again and we're ready for the next step. Okay, so we want to mask him out. So we're going to come over here to our selection brush and we are going to start selecting the man here. And as I always say, the better job you do with your selection, the better the picture will turn out. So we're going to take a little bit of care here. Again, resizing the brush with my right and left bracket keys just to get into those little tight places all the way around. Okay, holding our option key down in these little tight areas here just to get in there and there. Once you are happy with your selection, you can come up here to refine, have a look at any other areas that you want to redo or get Affinity to take another look at just on those edges. And once you're happy, just hit apply. We're gonna make sure we clicked on this background here. Then we're gonna come down here to the mask layer and we're gonna click here and just create a mask on this layer here. Now we're still not finished with our selection tool. We've got our background done. But we want to now take away the mask from his head. So I'm going to make a fairly big brush, holding my option key down to subtract that mask. And I want to take it away from his face and his head there. But I want to keep it around that scar. And making my brush a bit smaller again, just to get into those areas here. And option key to change it to add or subtract. And there we have it. So now we've just got his body masked. And once we've got that mask and we're happy with it, we're on this on the layer here and we're going to go command J, command J for two copies. So we've got two copies of just the body here without the head and the background copy here. This first copy we are going to call black and white BMW. The second copy here I'm going to call recolor. Make sure you clicked on this black and white layer here. We come up here to our develop persona. We're just going to click on that. We're going to bring our clarity all the way up, our contrast all the way up, and a tiny bit of exposure. And we're happy with that. We're going to hit develop up here in the corner, staying on our black and white layer here. We're going to come down here to our adjustments, and we're going to pick black and white. I'm just going to drag this black and white layer down so it only affects this layer. So we've got our black and white layer here, and we're going to come up here to filters, detect, detect edges. That's given us some real contrast on the body here. We're going to change our blend mode all the way down to average. So we're happy with that. So we're going to come down to our second layer here that we've called recolor and we're going to do just that. We're going to come down to the adjustments, hit recolor. We're going to drag this recolor so it only affects the recolor layer. We'll come down here to the hue slider and we're going to drag that along until we get that nice color, sort of frozen-y look color maybe sort of about there. We can always readjust this later if we want to. Okay, I'm just going to collapse that layer. So here we've got our two layers now, our black and white and our recolor, so our frozen look here. Next thing I'm going to do is add a new pixel layer, just a blank layer. So down here on our add pixel layer, but I want to drag that right up to the top because I want that on the top. It should look like this with the pixel layer on the top here. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select my brush tool. This is where I said I downloaded some brushes from DeviantArt, which I'll link below and I'll link the download link as well. So come down here and it's one of these brushes called Frost. And I'm just going to click on that. The one I'm going to use first is this one, 488. I'm just going to click on here, come over to my color, make sure I'm painting in white. I'm going to drop the opacity 
to about 40. I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. Make sure this pixel layer is highlighted and we're going to start painting these little snowflake effects into all the way around. Just click it until you think you have enough of a contrast. You can keep resizing your brush if you want to on his hands there. Okay, when you're happy with what you've got here, I'm going to come up here to get another brush and this one I'm going to use next is this one here, the 765. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come back to my color. This time I want to paint in black and I want to paint on the mask of the recolor layer. So I'm going to come over to the recolor layer, come down to the mask on the recolor layer, make sure I'm painting in black. And what we're going to do now is just show a little bit of the color of the skin underneath in certain areas, just to show that sort of like the ice is starting to freeze him. Maybe some on the hands there. Okay, so there we have it. We've got our frozen look. Like I said, you can redo that color if you want to. Over here on the recolor adjustments, just double click. It'll bring your recolor box back up and you can jig that color a little bit bluer or a little bit less blue. Okay, so what we want to do now is once we're happy, just click on the top layer, holding down your shift key on the bottom layer, not the background layer. Come over here to layer and merge selected. Click on this top layer here come over to our clone tool and I just want to tidy up these areas these white areas around the shoulders hold my option key down to get a selection sort of close and I'm just going to go around and just get rid of a little bit of these white areas here to make it look a little bit better again option click for a selection and just a little bit of time we don't have to get rid of all of it because it looks sort of still part of the frozen section here okay Command D to get rid of those marching ants. And there we have it, everybody. That is the frozen textured look using Affinity Photo. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I will say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.